just want to say blessed, respect, and love to everybody out there in the world. I have a message I want to kind of just kind of just get it across to everybody that out there that have the time to hear it. Um, just want to say we live in a world, people, and everybody should know that we live in this world that is more materialistic than anything. And right now, according to the last, I mean, just looking into the, into life, we can see that people put material objects and money over other people and their life especially when it comes to government and top the top when you go to the top these people put money over everything and because of that it's a lot of suffering going on because I've been doing my research and recently they spent some trillions of dollars on these last couple of wars last couple of years trillions upon trillions and we when I did the research you say if they spent these trillions that they spent on the war on the na on the people Everybody would have had um, opportunity to go to school. Like everybody could have went to college or school. Everybody could have went to like everybody had a chance to like to build a business. They could have put everybody in position to have something, but instead they put them trillions of dollars into war. Yo, I know this been going on for a long time now, but the reason why I'm mentioning this right here in this convo right now to everybody out there, some people don't even care. I know it's okay if you don't. You know that's your life. You got kids, you know, maybe the, your kids you might have to worry about. Maybe you're not worried about what's going to happen about yourself. Or, but in this reality right now, people, if you're not paying attention, you won't really know what's going on and what actions to take soon to make changes to better yourself and your family. So right now, I just want to say for everybody out there where I live them life and you don't have much, if you're not rich, if you don't have tons of money, still be happy with what you have. Be happy. Love yourself, cherish your life, mm -hmm. be thankful for the fact that you still have life, you still have blessings to, you know what I mean, you still have so much to share with people as far as your nature and your individuality and who you are. Don't worry about what people think about you, don't worry about these hateful ass people in the world, because I'm going to tell you what's going on in this world right now. People are so competitive now because they're struggling. So they're, all they could visualize is a selfish, egotistic thing with them at the top of the bubble. Like, you ever heard somebody who want a career real bad or like they want to be in the music business and the first thing they teach people to, to think is, oh, I'm, I'm going to be the best rapper, I'm going to be the best this, or I'm going to be the best that, I'm going to be at the top, everybody want to be at the top. So because of all of this dreaming for the top, we got a, millions of people who accepted this dream to be at the top of something. So instead of building together, unified to create a, 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 a people, a nation of people that can benefit each other from their ideas and their mind and their talents, the people's minds have accepted this dream. So now everybody's in a competitive state of mind. Everybody's on a race to the top. And because of this race to the top that everybody's dreaming in their head, I'm going to be at the top, I'm going to be the best, this, I'm going to be the richest, that. That competition make people start hating each other for no reason. All of a sudden, that man over there is your competition. That woman over there is your competition. Everybody is your competition. Because you accepted this fake-ass European dream about being at the top of something. But there is no top of nothing. There is no top. There is none. Some people just make it in the business or they sign deals with companies. They make money. It doesn't matter what you do with your talent or your skill. If you make money, it doesn't mean that you are at the top of anything. Because... People who are junkies, say you're taking drugs or you drink alcohol. When you get a lot of money, now you drink a whole lot more alcohol. All of a sudden, the alcohol got you tripping to where you go be drunk out there driving and die from that. What's the top there? You get what I'm saying? So it's just money. So the perception of things is transforming everyday people from regular humans to robot thinking type beings. Where they're jealous, envious of everything. they worried about their likes. they worried about liking another person because they don't want that person to move forward. It's all type of jealousy nowadays because of these perception of being at the top and this competitive shit that everybody is in competition with each other over everything for food, money, resources, life, everything people are competing for. Likes on Facebook, sheer power, uh, fame, every fucking thing people are competing for now. Everything is a competition now. See? So because of that, it's more suffering, it's more struggling because people are less willing to help each other 
through the struggle. People are less willing to get up and build with each other instead of showing off on each other, which has been one of the biggest things in the last 15, 20 years. It's been showing off. They call it flossing. In Jamaica, they call it broth, brothing. You want everybody to know you got bottles and you popping. You want everybody to know you got a couple models. You want everybody to know you got the nice new car. But the reality is most of these people that live like that are still poor. They barely have anything. Sometimes they have a hundred thousand dollar, even if they have a million US dollar. In the reality of dealing with the, the system and the people who control, they're still poor. Let's, let me just be honest. I've done my research. The billionaires and the multi-millionaires and trillionaires that control, I've seen the way they speak. I've seen the things they talk about. I've, I've, I've watched their um, meetings. I've sat back and listened. And I'm telling regular everyday people out there, if you think that competing with your brothers and sisters, hating on them is going to do something for you, you just causing more of a decline for your own people. Stop hating on your brothers. Stop hating on your sisters. Stop hating on your mama and your daughters and your, your sons. Your own people. You, everybody is in competition. We can't join that. It was not for us to follow the Hollywood and the media and to become like them. See, and so what you do is you're lowering your morality and your true self. Your true loving self to become a fucking crab in a system that designed to tear you down spiritually and then physically after. Because what happens is, if you see everything they advertise to you and give you, it's to destroy you mentally first and then physically right after. So, if you pay attention, you'll see that I'm not here spreading no type of propaganda. I'm just telling the truth like it is. The system and the, the, the media and the TV... The radio, everything that they're putting out to transmit to people, especially African people, is for them to be segregated and hateful to each other. Exactly, Andrea. You know, say, I love where I push. But they are pushing hate. People are doing Satanism right in each other's face. And acting like it's cool. You see these little 17, 18 year old, they sign a record deal and they don't even know what they're signing. They don't even know what they're doing because they're just thinking about the money. Because the parents are at fault. See, the parents glorify all this vanity. They glorify all the having everything in the world, all the money in the world. They glorify that. So because of the glorification of every, the things and the vanities, the children seeing that coming up young. So as soon as they get to 14, 15, they want everything. They want the Lamborghinis. They want it all. And they would do anything to get it because that's what their mind is. It, their mind, the whole perception of things is that you got to get it. Excuse me, please. Jeez. One second. What's up? All right, all right. I was going to do it the other night, but you tell me no, and then no, you yeah, ask me. All right, all right. Yeah, 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 all right. Yeah, so anyway, these things are the reason why people are so confounded right now, because they're listening to the system media, all of these propaganda they spread to people. is to, to get people to be selfish, envious. And you hear them saying, um, it's every man for himself. These are the concepts that they spread right now. So every man is now going for himself, especially in the African nation. We got people who's all about themselves, right? Cosetta, Andrea, big up yourself, queens. Much respect and love. When people become all about themselves, self-centered, they're grinding just for their very own means. Everybody now is becoming competitive. So with all these people just caring about their self alone, they're going hard for their self, but they don't care about the nation. So now they, it's a selfish liberty begins. And now everybody is in competition. And that's, that's what's causing more suffering because the people who don't have nothing, they try to pretend like everything is all right. So everybody is showing a game face now. We're dealing with the, the, the system of twist now. The, we're living in a system of spin. Everybody is spinning, trying to act like something ain't what it is. Like people who are poor right now are acting rich. You got a lot of poor people right now who pretend to have money like they got it. Just because they got a little Lexus or something. But they trust me. They got enough money to pay their car note and get some gas. Them niggas is broke. Right? But the materialism is to make them appear as if they doing very well and that's what a lot of people doing to each other they showing off when they don't got it and they're not building they're not being real with each other we need to be real with each other let me know what the fuck going on with you so i could know if i need to build that business share your links with me if you're building a business share your business with me share let's connect like we got this internet to our benefit we need to start using the internet to benefit we got it the internet is our best friend right now it's our best friend right now. It's the only thing we have right now that's actually benefiting us. With It's causing some type of fucker, but it's still the big benefit. It's the only way I could connect with you people. Big up yourself, queens. Right now, Cosetta, I wouldn't be able to connect with you unless the internet, right? Because I don't even know where you at right now, tell you the truth. But 
because of this net we can't see each other you see me and you like damn who is this brother you know what i'm saying you probably enjoy the truth i'm speaking and you know that what i'm speaking has some type of facts to it right so if you do your own research you realize they're trying to get all of us to see in a segregated way like nah i can't be cool with you because you think like this or you go to that church or you go to that school and that is the segregation they spread to everybody from a youth to church skin color look they call in african people black people black the from the moment they were calling black people black people it was all wrong because you cannot be a black person you can't you can't call people orange people black people white people people are they colorified so they colorize the people to separate them in every way they can this is segregation from the very beginning they've been using these segregative words segregative tools to make people differentiate in every way and see their differences so that they will never think to ever come together and unify to build or do what they need to do to change the world to benefit everybody instead they follow in the system and then they elect presidents they select presidents that is going to keep things the same as long as they keep that prejudice hate terrorism scheme going on that they created because the people who are going after the people that call it the war on terror are the terrorists you understand these people are putting on their own wars these people are causing their own friction and lying to the whole world at the same time while they control everybody and use everybody to make themselves wealthy while the poor remain poor right and while they tear people down from having resources to nothing so every country everybody that have something in their country to make themselves okay you got these wealthy people elitist people are coming in to take your shit so that's what's going on that's why so much lies are spread that's why they spread um the envy and the competitive thinking because they want people to be distracted and the only pe way people are going to be distracted is if the people can't see clearly and the only way you're not going to see clearly is if you're already confounded within yourself carrying hate envy jealousy for everybody around you that way you can't see the government because you're looking at the nigga next door to you you're looking at the motherfucking you looking at brothers and sisters hating on your own brothers and sisters and shit. How the fuck can you see anything clearly? Can you see, you can't see what's going on because you hating on Tom back there. You hating on a little nigga that got a little job. Little artist that's making his song or two. This nigga, me, dropping music. These niggas is bugging. I'm trying to tell you they're, they're programmed, brainwashed already to the point where only God could save these type of niggas. Because they're already so programmed out. They believe in everything that Hollywood give them. They believe in the system to the fullest. They go sign any deal. And then two years later, you hear they murdered in the street. And some other story they made up and give you when they were sacrificed. It's all type of shit going on. And it's deeper than the rabbit hole that you can imagine. So right now, it's like, I couldn't even talk about all this shit with you right now. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like, for real, it's, it's, it's just too much. And we have to come together now to start making the changes we need to make right when everybody's looking like they're blind that's not gonna work we can't form circles with people who are two-faced either if we see that they're not for us and i'm not i'm not a hater of any type of people i don't hate no color i don't hate no chinese people nor white people what i do realize is that we as a nation of african people need to stick together and uprise and do what we need to uplift each other because oprah ain't coming to invest her money to say let us build our nation she over there with them white people fucking calling out every nigga she could possibly call out as being a rapist or some shit meanwhile she ain't calling out them white boys that doing their shit you get what i'm saying so we got all these billionaires that couple black billionaires they ain't doing shit these black billionaires are always coupled up with other white billionaires hugging and shaking hands <laughs> skinning like everything is all right like they forget about the hoses and the dogs and all the shit that was happening when black people couldn't go in the same restaurant use the same bathroom and all that shit you get what i'm saying so they quick to forget and act like everything is all cool now oh it's 2020 come on now forget about the old stuff when they still fucking murdering our kids, kidnapping our little girls, you know what I'm saying, taking their organs, throwing away their bodies, using them for DNA research, sucking the blood dry out of these people. We're talking about vampires in real life. We're talking about Satanists that actually drink blood, do blood facials. What the fuck do you get out of washing your face with blood when the Almighty Creator made herbs for us to purify our skin and, and wash ourselves with? Show you how corrupt these people are. These people are vampires in real life. And we sitting, we have these dumbfounded brothers and sisters sitting here like, oh, it's just a movie, ah. Huh? It's right in front of their face, these people drinking blood. Right in their face. But they just too fucking blind to see. But you see, I'm putting my weight back on. I'm getting ready to box. That's right. I train myself. I'm, I'm, I'm trained up already, but I'm getting ready to put that flesh back on. The warrior more like the muscle back. 
So when I go, if any time come, I gotta go, I'm ready to box off, knock off, shoot, stab, kill. If any type of revolution start, I'm ready. Because tell you what, I'm not here to sleep on my people. Ain't nothing but love. I'm in Jamaica right now, but I'm going to tell you something. Jamaica was also in slavery. And I did my research on Jamaica. How the fuck they got free. It wasn't about being no pussy and no fearful little scared motherfuckers. It was about being warriors. We had to be in them woods with swords, axes, and all type of shit. So, so you know, just realistically, we're dealing with a satanic culture right now. We see our little young kids, little young boys, they throwing up all these little signs. And they don't pray to God. They don't acknowledge the true and living creator that lives in, within us. They got these kids running around dealing with demonic shit. They got these kids running around talking, throwing up upside down crosses in their head. And all type of demonic stars in their face and all type of crazy shit. So you tell me what type of benefit we supposed to get from that and we're in our nation. We supposed to look at that as something uplifting. Excuse me, people. I think I'm going to uh, make a move and come right back. If fun crazy on my life, just start jump off when my phone I got dead. You see how the thing go? Don't know. I'm coming right back, y'all. Right back. If my phone dead, right back. I guess not. I'm going to stay. I'm going to rock with enough for right now. But yeah, like I said, these people got our kids out here throwing up devil signs, putting in devil freaking shit in their face. And it's like it's accepted. It's crazy because these older people that I think they know something wrong like yo If you see me put an upside down cross in my face and put some blood Tears under my eyes and things in my face for just whatever reason. What would you think of me like for what? For what you'd be like oh this nigga thugged out this nigga gangster. What is it for? I'm gonna tell you what it's for. I'm gonna tell you what's going on people remember Remember hold on hold on let me stop this shit right here Fuck. Yeah, remember in the rock and roll days, if you do your research, I wasn't born back in them days. I'm, I'm a late 80s baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm just there. I'm touching on a certain age right now at 33. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of young, but I see what's going on. I've been paying attention. Um, these rock and roll groups, yeah. These rock and roll niggas. Look back, Kazeta. Big up Oyama Sophia, Rainier, my queen them, Gaza G Sudden, respect and love my family, Mizani. Yo, me have to talk to them and rock with me, watch out. Let me show them how I go on, because it's a... Remember back in the days, you have these rock groups, Kiss, um, whatever, I don't know them, the names that way, but you have the Beakles too, all of these people. These people were doing satanic shit in their music from the 70s and the 60s and the, and the 80s. A lot of satanic shit was in the rock and roll. It still is. Heavy metal, all of them, they're dealing with Satan. You hear them sing about Satan, all that crazy shit. You know when you listen to that rock, you hear all that crazy shit, right? All right. It wasn't a part of hip hop. It never in a reggae dance or music either. It wasn't a part of the Jamaican culture. It wasn't a part of the African culture in hip hop, rap music, nothing. It was all in rock and roll. So you see what happened with these people is they took their time to put their bullshit over on our people. To come and bring that satanic shit into the rap, rap game. And that's when you start seeing all these rappers now. Doing devil shit. Throwing up devil signs. Putting one hand over their eye. Shit like that. We never used to have no niggas doing shit like that in dance or reggae. In Jamaica. Nobody used to do stuff like that Ohema. Nobody. Rainier, nobody did that type of stuff here. None. But you see the culture what they do is they take their time and they push that shit and they push it. They push it on us. They push it. Look every day. Look all of them artists you see that was doing that shit. One hand over the eye and all that little signal shit with the uh, throwing up shit like that. Like you know just a bunch of crazy little You can see them. Just watch and you see a bunch of them doing that shit. And all of them that do it, all of them are signed to either Universal, Sony or um... Columbia, all of these record labels. Anytime they sign to these record labels, all of a sudden, they come out with a picture like this or that or some bullshit with the Illuminati signs or when really they just using the African symbols, African Egyptian symbols which were created by our people for our natural order. We created that stuff naturally because the pyramids, we built pyramids for a good purpose. When we built pyramids, it was for harnessing energy. For collecting, harnessing, and giving back energy. It's energy cells. We built places we could go rejuvenate, power up, all type of different shit, meditation wise, good stuff. Seeing? All good, greatness, preserving, 
all of that. But what happened is everything we do, the devil, the evil people gonna flip it. Now I'm not here to call no white people evil because I'm not no nation of Islam nigga talking about all you people are the devil. No, I'm not on that. What I'm gonna do is call the evil people evil. Because I've seen good white people. I'm not here to judge nobody color either. Because I ain't got time for that. Only the almighty creator could cast such judgment on people. So I see where man has defiled himself and act as a fool in the world. We got men out here talking all type of dumb shit. That's why you got to watch who you listen to. Because a lot of men are men. Men, men are men. They talk so much dumb shit. Every one of them claim to have the right story. They all act like they know what the hell going on and they don't know shit. They don't know shit. All they got is a bunch of books. So they read their books and tell you back what the fuck going on in the book and then claim that to be so wise. Nigga, you just read that from a book, so how are you so fucking wise when you read all your knowledge from a fucking book? That means whoever wrote that book, whatever lies he told is now in your head. So you see, we have to deal with intrinsic knowledge, ancestry. We have to deal with our blood. How do we know the truth and the facts and how do we get to our divinity and our true ancestral true facts is through our blood. We have to meditate. We have to go internal. We have to astral plane in ourself, travel to our own bloodline and start to pick the truth out of ourself because everything is internal. This is a trick where they get every people, to, people to believe everything is external. People to believe that everything they need to learn is in a book or you need to go study a book. You need to read this. You need No, you need to read yourself. That's what they didn't teach in school. That's why I say no schooling. A lot of people wonder why. Why, G Terry? Why do you say no schooling? No schooling. That's why I say no schooling because school doesn't teach people the truth. School didn't teach people what they need to know. School taught you what they wanted you to know. They want you to know that stuff that they teach in school. They don't want you to know you. So the more you study them in school, you don't know you. And that's why most people don't know who they are today. Most people don't know how to reciprocate the energy of love from their brothers and sisters. How to talk to people. How to respect people. How to give love and let that love come back to them through the universe. Through everything. Because everything travels through energies. But these people don't understand that because they got schooled, y'all. And that's the problem. That's the problem. That's why I say no schooling. Because school takes the life source out of a lot of kids. Teach them to be freaking dumbasses. Make them feel like a failure before they even leave school because they failed a couple subjects that they didn't understand or didn't read the book to get the knowledge to. So now when these kids fail these little stupid ass subjects, these freaking teachers put an F on their fucking paper and they go home feeling like shit. And their mama look at them talking about, Ah, oh, you failing these classes. Nigga, I taught you better than that. I thought I showed you that. Better. And so you see, that's ignorance. All of it is dumbassness. It's stupidness. Because what's happening is the parent doesn't realize that they didn't fucking spend no time teaching the kid what they were supposed to know to pass that test. Sent them to school with no care and no worry. Didn't even help them with their homework. Then when the kid doesn't understand what the fuck going on and he get an F on the fucking paper now, the teacher, hmm, you got an F. And the parent now want to be mad. Nigga, do not be mad at your kid for getting an F. You know why? It's just because he didn't read the book, dumbass. It doesn't mean he's stupid. It doesn't mean he's slow. It's just that nobody's getting through to that child. Nobody's showing that child that, look, just focus on this part so you can pass that test. Somebody needs to be there to, to guide that child, to make them understand that this is the information you need to soak up if you want to pass this test. But instead, these motherfuckers running around circles and shit, leaving the kids to struggle by themselves. It's the same shit that's going on with everybody. It's the same thing the government does to the people. They leave you to run around in your life, work your little job, thinking everything is good, because you're getting a little paycheck. Then you forget the bills come in sometimes, don't you? Then when the bills hit you, like, God damn, I got to pay these shits. By the time you pay your bills, all of your paycheck money down to $200, you could buy a little bit of food, then you broke again. Can't you see the perpetual motherfucking slavery that's going on? But everybody is so cool about it. <laughs> yeah, because they're going to buy a brand new pair of Nike as soon as they save up enough money to get the new Jordans or something. You know, it's the dumbass shits. You see that? That's the fucking lower liberty that these people are living in thinking it's all good. This is what's happening with our African people, especially in America and Jamaica and all these other places. They think everything is all good because they could buy a motherfucking pair of shoes and a pair of pants uh, and shirts, a Tommy Hill figure. You see, that dumbass shit, when we need to have land, we need to have freaking palaces for our daughters and sons. We need to be out here building freaking a whole new fucking world for our kids out here that's not full of fucking prejudice, hate, corruption and poverty. Yet motherfuckers is worried about the next pair of J's that come out. You see the stupid shit niggas has been programmed to, to fucking worry about and think about. You see that shit and they worried about me. Niggas talking about they my friends now. They so-called friends. Every time I come and talk, these so-called friends is scared to fucking death to even look at me. Like I got horns coming out my fucking head. I'm a cow. Moo! 
I'm going to buck somebody. You get what I'm saying, Cazetta? It's like I'm going to hurt somebody when I get ready to talk on live. I got these fake-ass friends that refuse to delete themselves, but want to stick on my timeline and watch everything I'm doing, see what I'm putting out, but they don't want to support nothing. They don't want to share ever. They, they know I'm talking the truth. They know I'm fighting for them. They won't even support it. Even though I fight for them, their cause, because this is not, this couldn't be just for me. When we stand up, we stand up for our nation. We can't stand up for ourselves. That's, that's selfishness. And, and even if we stand up for ourselves, we still stand up for our nation. Because at the end of the day, the benefit we benefit ourselves, it benefits our nation. It makes people respect other people because they've seen us fight the struggle. So they say, you know, I'm going to respect those other people for the behalf of that man that stood up too for them. Same thing with Martin Luther. Same thing with Malcolm X. Same thing with Frederick Douglass. Same thing with Mal Marcus Garvey. Same thing with Bob Marley. Same thing with Tupac Shakur. Same thing with Mal Mal Abdul... <laughs> Mumia Abdul Jamal, same thing with all the African leaders, same thing with G Terra, same thing with Jojo, same thing with Rainier Kazeta, the all of us, man, all of us. We're united, we need to be united, we need to be a united people on a whole scale. But we got these scared ass niggas that's worried about, oh, he gonna get too famous. That's what they worried about. That if they watch me and share my shit, a lot of people gonna see me and I'm gonna get famous. That's what bothers them. That's the pettiness niggas worried about. Niggas worried about competition. Like, remember I said that from the beginning, Cazetta? Competition. That's all they're worried about. They're competing so hard against each other. They can't sit back and just say, you know what? We need to be united on all fronts, on all levels. So you fighting for me, I'm fighting for you. And guess what? At the end of the day, all this little fame shit don't mean nothing, nigga. The most famous motherfucker in the world just went to prison and everybody clowned his ass. The most famous motherfucker in the world was, was considered to be a child rapist and clowned for 20 years straight. To the, and sent to his grave. Even after he was buried, they were still fucking trying to send the nigga to prison. Even when he died, they were trying to put this nigga in prison. His bones, they were trying to dig his bones up and put him in prison after they buried his ass. To show you how much it means to be on top, nigga. These are the people that were on top. You get what I'm saying? So we as people, black people, sorry for saying black, I hate that word. Black people, like we're a crayon people. You know, green people. You know, orange. Let's get yellow people. You know, these crayon color people. Come on now, man. African people, we have to stop being so fucking competitive against each other to where we're hating our brothers and sisters for doing anything they're doing because you want to be ahead of them in what you're doing. So you're fighting against what they're doing. You get what I'm saying? We got a lot of that going on with our people. They're doing us dirty for fame. When they ain't even got no fame. Some of them ain't got doing no talented shit. They got a 9 to 5 job and still be fighting against us. Trying to do something for them. Trying to build ourselves up business wise so we could maybe hire their kids. So their kids won't have to work for the evil government people. You know what I'm saying? Their kids could probably work for a black firm. A black enterprise. Excuse me, an African enterprise again. I, I'm caught up. You know, I'm, I, I grew up with what they call black people. So we keep calling ourselves black. But I'm starting to try to disassociate that word with myself. Black people. Because that shit... I found out it's a twist. I found out it's, a, it's something to, to make you seem non-relevant. They trying to black out. You know what black out means? When they black you, it means they trying to black you out. That's why black people don't get nothing. That's why they always, they gave everybody reparation, but they ain't gave black nothing because they consider black to be not a people. But if African people realize who they are, that they're the indigenous people of America, they'll get all the shit that belongs to them, including their reparations that they so long wanted. See, African people don't realize that they're the freaking indigenous people in America, too. They were in the land way before white people ever thought about being in America. There were black people there. Wooly for research, me to find out these things. So, you know, I didn't just born, I didn't just born yesterday and come and start talking. I know what I'm speaking of because I looked at how these people bought their way around the land and bought themselves into, into wealth by stealing everything that they have. So, you know, like I said, I just speak truth. And, this is, and, and you know what the funny thing is? For all those people that think I'm some type of prejudiced person for speaking the truth, I learned most of this stuff from white people. It's white people that told me all this, most of this shit because they speak, see some white people tell the truth. They don't care that their freaking forefathers was freaking murderers and slave masters. They tell you, they be like, yo, uh, their people did a lot of fucked up shit and we're gonna suffer for it and they talk it straight up and I'm like see so how can black people look at me funny for speaking the truth that a white man would tell you you think what I say that's to show you that some of these white these black people are some really house niggas yo they some real fucking coons yo like they just don't get it it's time brothers and sisters it's time cool nigga not y'all I know most y'all are real majority of y'all on my timeline are real 
But to all the coons out there, it's time, cool nigga. It's time for you to get your head out your ass and realize that we have a lot of sufferers and strugglers in the black nation, in the African nation. Jeez, Lord, it's hard to break. <clears throat> we have a lot of struggle. So we have to, we have to build together. We have to, yeah, they're scared right now, they are. But we can't let fear rule us, people. Coon niggas, please. Coons, to all the coons that's going to see this later or whenever. Because I know right now my real people that's watching right now are the real warriors. The queens that's here right now, y'all are warriors. Compared to some of these brothers we got, y'all are strong and powerful, believe me. Because we got some scared niggas in our freaking nation. Scared. They're scared of freaking even reasoning with their own brothers, much less doing anything. You feel me? So it's, that's why so much lesbians is in our nation too now. Because the brothers are turning into some little bitches. A lot of them gay as fuck now. And I'm not here to bash anybody on what they do with their life. But the more of these type of brothers you have, is the more lesbians you're going to have. Because the women got to please themselves. We're going to have more single females and more lesbians. Because these brothers out here getting soft and timid and lie. And they turn into all these little queer guys and fruit flies. You know, they turn into some shit that we were never that type of people. So you see where the programming from TV, media... And European uh, entertainment and all that Hollywood shit has fucked up our, our, our brothers, man. And a lot of our sisters, too. Because they can't get a little natural vibe or nothing. They, they hate their own hair. They own beautiful... Nigga, you see my fucking hair? Nigga, you see this, this, you see this crown on my head? You see this fucking crown? Eh? Yo, I'm a Jamaican. I never watch this. You see this fucking crown, yo? Huh? I was in America for a while, you know what I'm saying? I had to learn how to talk that language. You see this fucking crown on my head, yo? You see this shit? Natural. This this more powerful and stronger than gold. I could put on my gold crown right now, and you know I'm a king. You see me, and you know I'm a fucking king. You know I'm a king. But see, these people, they know I'm a king. So what they do is, they, they my whole life was, they had to watch me. They had to make, put cameras everywhere to make sure they keep a close eye on people like me to know what we're doing and if we're doing too good they come to shut us the fuck down because they don't want us getting back the rightful um place in the earth because see people like us we're gonna help people that's what we do we help people we build a nation we're builders we're people who build cultivate farm and and create things that will help the land and benefit people overall life and they don't like that they like to promote death depopulation agendas and murder and 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 all that other shit so people like me they try their best to cut us off make sure we don't grow they fight against us they turn our own people against us they use propaganda they use everything to make a black excuse me an african man or a jamaican man whatever you consider me they make us look um like we're some type of criminal no matter what we do i'm doing music good music too people love my music i get a lot of props but for some reason i still feel like a fucking criminal because the people who say they love me won't even buy my music. They won't buy it. They barely even listen to me. So I still feel like I'm, like I'm, maybe I should be stealing or robbing or something. And that's what they do to us. They put us in a, in a, they try to stereotype us so bad that our own women don't even know us. They're looking down on us already talking about them niggas ain't shit. A woman who don't even know you will look at you. A black woman. Yeah, excuse me, an African woman. Jeez. An African woman will look at you and say you ain't shit. Because... You ain't got a certain amount of money and stuff. And that's the stereotype they do to us African brothers all over the world. Jamaica, America, Trinidad. It don't matter where you at. It's the same mentality they pushed on everybody. So it's about, more about money now. Big up Fuzz Dangles, Jojo, Queens. Respect and love. You don't know me loving like cook food. You see it? Yeah, man. Rainier. So, you know, they put that mentality on people now to be this way. It's like a, a natural order now. Your woman look at you and if you ain't driving a nice ass car and got nice shit. Big gold chains and rings. Some of these women are, that are really materialistic, they won't even look at you. The ones that are natural women will love you regardless. Because I've met women who gave me play, gave me the time of day when I ain't had shit. I was walking in America. Big respect to all the North Carolina women too. Fayetteville women, they, them women are next level. They love you when you ain't got shit. Big up Fayetteville women. Not all of them now, but some of them will love you from the ground up just because they like you. And that's real. That's real woman. When a woman likes you, she likes you for you. Not because you got some shit. Because a woman could like a man that ain't got nothing. And that man could work hard and get a good decent job or hustle or start a business and come up from nothing. And that woman be proud as fuck because she was there when he had nothing. So she proud as fuck because she loved him when that nigga ain't had shit. So, you know, that's reality. But then you got these chicken heads. All they see is the millionaires. 
They looking right past your ass if they think you broke, nigga.